ladies and gents. Ramen on wheels, yeah. Coming you with the topic, the video topic. Should you trade in your scooter or should you just sell your scooter? Let's get it. So if you want to trade in your scooter, you typically trade it in at the dealership, right? So when you, so that means it's it could be pretty easy to dispose of your scooter compared to trying to sell it. Now, don't think you can have some rink dink if you don't know what rink dink is. Uh, check that out. Yeah, some rink dink scooter, some old knockoff cheap Chinese scooter, and think that's barely even worth a couple of cents and say, oh, I'm gonna trade my scooter in at some uh, big high-end uh, dealership and see what I can get, because it's not gonna happen. It's just not gonna happen. So you have to have a scooter worth trading in in order to trade it in. If you have that that scooter that qualifies, and like I did that like it's a woman shape, that qualifies, a scooter that qualifies, it could, you go to dealership and it could be pretty easy to uh, get rid of it. Now, me, mind you, if you're trading it in, that means you actually want to get a new ride, either a new scooter or motorped or a motorcycle. And that's the reason why you're trade, trading it in. Woo, let's go fast. Let's go fast. Yeah, boy. What that mileage is looking like? What that, what that speedometer looking like? But if you're selling it, that mean you might you might want to get a new ride or you just might want some extra money in your pocket see because when you trade it in you have to take that money that you traded it in for and put down a deposit on a new ride so yeah now there's also a little uh extra bonus to that okay so of course you got to pay taxes on your new the new uh, ride you're paying for it's in some states you don't only have to pay the difference between the two rides when it comes to taxes. Now, dealing with a dealership seems like, ah, uh, yeah, that might just be the better option. Mm, nah, yeah, not necessarily. Because you are, again, dealing with a dealership, a bunch of salesmen, they try to make you pay as much as you can when buying something and try to give you the least amount as they can when you're trying to sell something. So they're gonna try to haggle you or under under buy your scooter get the cheapest uh get you to sell it to them for the cheapest amount they can now on that same note when it comes to if you just want to sell your scooter not to a dealership, not trading it, just selling it, well then you become the haggler. You become the salesman. And most of the time when you're selling your stuff and people come to buy it, just random people, they're not they're not any kind of exports or of any kind. So I mean you could probably get your money's worth for your scooter. Now don't try to like just outdo yourself and like sell some cheap Again, the word rink dink scooter for an arm and a leg, knowing it's not worth worth that. Now, the, also when it comes to selling your scooter, again, you are the one who have to sell it. So finding people to buy, it, that's where the difficulty might come. So a lot of like advertisement, like posting on Craigslist or something like that, or what's the other place? Uh, Seller Trader, I don't remember, uh, whatever that site is, or it's up top, you, you guys can see it right now, but yeah, selling it there, a lot of phone calls, dealing with random strangers, another thing is, uh, you know, people want to make sure you selling some legit stuff, something that actually works. So it's a lot of test driving. Random strangers will be test driving your car or your scooter. And uh, some of those strangers might not even even rode a scooter before. So you're risking them like 
having a mini crash. See, I'm just making loops in this parking lot. People would be like, uh, what's she up to? All right then, let me go do what I got to do. I was waiting for the line to die down. You guys should know by now, I despise lines. And the lines have uh, went down, so yeah. Can we get a, can we get a, can we get a little pause time? Now I know you got what you guys are thinking, or I'm gonna to pretend to know what you're thinking, or I'm gonna tell you what you're thinking, you're thinking. Shauna, why are you talking about trading in scooters or selling scooters? Oh my gosh, do you plan to sell or trade in your scooter? <sighs> yes and no. See, the Havana Classic was never my dream scooter. It was just like, Okay, I'll get that one out of convenience. It's it's a nice, decent little scooter. Why not go for that, right? My ultimate goal scooter would be either a Vespa or a Piaggio. Both of those are Italian scooters. Those are like my ultimate dream scooters. Those are like <laughs> the heaven scooter. I don't want to keep this scooter. I don't plan to keep this scooter forever. This is just like another notch on my scooter belt. Uh, I really want to upgrade and I don't want to keep this scooter longer than a year we're already four months into this scooter and uh, I've been really itching to like upgrade but I'm like no wait out the year Shauna so come on turn green no I don't want to thank you dude don't don't you dare come out my light was green <gasps> oh I'm go I'm go over here you guys oh my we're gonna have another adventure time but yeah I want to I want to trade in my, my ride either trade it or sell it either way if I sell it if I sell it I'm just gonna take that money and put down on another scooter but uh yeah I want to like upgrade and I'm saying in a year but you guys don't be surprised in like three four months I have a different scooter and the reason why I say, you might think, oh, why not just keep this one and buy another one? Because uh, I live in a, an apartment complex and I have a car and a scooter and you're actually only supposed to have like one designated parking space, but I take up two already. Now I could buy another scooter and fit both scooters in the same parking space, but then that's just too much. Why do I have three vehicles? and one parking garage, I mean one parking space. Oh yeah, I'm going this way because I see a carnival. That's gonna be fun for you guys to see. Yeah, let's do that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they need to fix this road. I'm planning to join the gym pretty soon. There's a, there's a fitness connection over there. I need to tone up, so I'm probably gonna join the gym next month or something. But anyway, I digress. Back to the Tizopic. Uh, yeah, so I wanna upgrade. And I'm thinking about upgrading to, like I really like the like. I remember saying in my very first 150cc scooter vlog that I wanted the Kimco like 150i ABS. <gasps> Cute! <sighs> I haven't been to one of these tiny little carnivals in forever. Oh, my favorite place to go though, porta potties yes you wouldn't believe the rides inside of those i mean it's just it it would just blow your mind but uh i wonder when does this open are they open do they open tonight <gasps> ooh, ooh, i should do a night ride over here where all the lights be popping shauna again you're, you're off topic. I am, Shauna. I'm sorry. No, you're not. Yep, I'm not. Uh, yeah, so the Kimco Like is what I want to, uh, Kimco Like 150 is what I want to upgrade to. 
but those aren't available in the U.S. So I was like, okay, the Kimco like 200i, I mean, it would be, I guess, the next reasonable choice. But the thing is, I'm one of those people, I'm gonna go to the fitness place and just look over here. I'm one of those people. I don't like to, um, uh, what do you call that, settle. Now, I might have a backup this or backup that, but I don't like to settle for anything than what I want, because I feel like if you settle, uh-oh, some emotional stuff going on over here. Yeah, I got you on camera. Yep, looked right into my camera. Oh, she looks like she's crying for real, though. I'd be sad now. You still gonna be in the video, though. So I wanted to upgrade to the Kimco 150, but I don't like to settle. So I was like, well, don't get the 200. I don't, don't get the 200 if you don't actually want the 200. So I'm like, yeah, Shauna, you're right. Don't get it. But you know the one I do like also? The Fiddle 3. Now the Fiddle 3, I adore the Fiddle 3. But the Fiddle 3, it's like the Fiddle 3 is MSRP or something like that. It's supposed to be like 2800, right? So I was like, okay, I'll go for that one. When, before I bought ramen, I was like, okay, I'm gonna try to see about getting that one. And what you guys don't, that's the, like the suggested value that the dealership should sell it in. But usually this dealership will mark it up an extra five, $600 because they had to ship it to their dealership and they had to put it together. So they'll mark it up a few hundred dollars. But why did, when I go to uh, look at the scooter at the Scooter Smith's place, it should have been like $3,200 for this scooter. Okay, this car is following me. Oh, now you turning when I turn? So you are following me. He's staring. He's staring. Now I'm following you. Now what? I'm following you, boy. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to follow you now. You you started this. You you made this happen. I'm going to follow you. <laughs> I'm actually going to follow this dude now. Wait, how am I looking on gas? Okay. Yep, I'm going to follow you. I'm going to follow you. Uh oh, uh, 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 uh. I'm gonna follow you. I don't know who you are, but I'm gonna follow you. Cause I'm a stalker. I'm a stalker. Dang. You're lucky. You're lucky. I had to yield to traffic. It was either follow him and die or stay put and live to see another day. So I chose to, you know, live and see another day. I think that was the, more, the smarter, responsible choice. Some of you might disagree. But um, I have a pretty good head on my shoulders, so I think I did make the right choice to live and, you know, be able to breathe and not be in pain. Ah, oh, dang. I should have been paying attention to which direction he went. I could have followed him. I uh, wasn't paying attention to which direction he went. He's lucky. I was going to follow him home. Because <laughs> I'm a stalker. <laughs> Anywho. Yeah, so the fiddle. The fiddle. Fiddle three. A bug just hit my windshield. Ew. Yeah, I don't remember what I was talking about. I went to full on stalker mode and uh everything went blank. It's slowly coming back to me, but uh if you guys ever want me to be your personal stalker, just let me know. Hit me up in that comment section below. And uh if you like this video and want to see more videos. I know I probably didn't finish the topic I was talking on, but whatevers, whatevers. Hold on, hold on. You know what? I won't end it right here because I just want to tell you guys something really quick. I want you guys to look out for the next video after this. It's a very special video. You, no hands, Shauna. What you doing? No hands. Okay, sorry. Where am I going? I don't know. I'm hungry. I'll probably go get something to eat somewhere. Okay. So I want you guys to watch out for the next video or two because I'm doing something real special. I'm talking real special. You remember how in a past video, I'll link it up top because I don't remember what it was at the moment that I was going to like customize my ramen. I finally figured out what it is or what it was. If you looked on my Instagrams or my Twitters, then you saw like a brief like idea that I was going by. Homeless and hungry. God bless. Dang, I just put all my money in the bank. Uh, but uh yeah uh, I'm doing something real special you guys I'm re I'm customizing I'm designing redesigning my, my scooter so and I'm gonna show you guys that so watch out for that video that one's coming up real soon I want to make it this week but 
I look at the weather and it says it's gonna rain the entire week. So I'm like, for real? You been all hot and sunshiny. When I don't make videos, the moment I'm like, okay, let's make a video outside, you're like, yo, but we want to rain though. I'm like, ah, dang man, I'm so ball headed. Okay, you gonna stay, you gonna go, you gonna go, you gonna stay. Let me know so I can live to see another day. All right then, I guess that's it. That's all I wanted to say. Oh, zoom, zoom. Stop it, Shauna. Stop it before you hurt yourself. You're right. Okay, if you like this video, you want to see more videos, check me out uh, by subscribing and liking these videos. Yo, son. And uh, me and Ramen is out. Catch you guys later. Deuces.